What's up, Strong Church? Chris here. It's time for another Friday Whip Around where we tell you the websites and the articles and the things on the internet that caught our eye this month. The first item on our list is this thing called Legacy of Faith that Adam Fawn is putting on over at his website. Both he and his wife are, are writing articles for this new project and both sets of grandparents and their family. This new project is dedicated to helping parents create their own legacy of faith uh, within their kids. I know both myself and my wife were constantly looking uh, for new articles, new things on the internet that can help us out be better parents, to be better godly parents. And I think this is what they're trying to get at over at the Legacy of Faith. So go uh, check them out. Uh, the link will be in the description. The second item that we want you guys to know about is an article written over on Radically Christian. In this article, they answer the question as to why Christians should love Muslims. In the world that we live in, this is kind of a hot topic, and uh, it's a very good article. I would encourage you to go check it out. The link will be in the description as well. The next article is very timely for the season that we're about to come into. I'm very excited. It's finally football season again. And the article written by Tom Rayner is talking about 11 differences between a college football fan and a church member. Now, I have to warn you, this article is a little harsh. It, it definitely steps on your toes a little bit, but in a good way. Because after all, sometimes we need uh, a bit of a wake-up call. We need the people to step on our toes. Go, go check out the article. The link will be in the description. I think you're going to like it. Next, if you've been paying attention to any Strong Church stuff going out this last month, uh, you know that we've opened up a, a new area of our website, finally, called New Life. And in this section, we've talked about it before, uh, is you'll find information for how you can find new life in Christ. Do we talk about uh, things that we see in the Bible, things that God wants us to do in order to find new life? We talk about different items that all relate to how we can find salvation and, and, and where we can find that in the Bible and what exactly it means in those scriptures. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And finally, this is another big work that we uh, just started putting out information for. We've been kind of hinting at this for uh, a, a few months now about the secret project that we've been working on. Well, what we finally told you guys what it is and it's something that we think could be very big. It's called Overcome Online. And what this site, this completely new site, what it's going to be dedicated to is helping people overcome their addiction to internet pornography. I'm not going to bore you with the statistics right now because we'll do we'll have plenty of that on the website itself. But if you don't realize that this is a problem in the church, then you need to wake up because it is a serious problem. It is running rampant, almost unchecked by our churches today. And what we plan to do with this site is provide tools and resources and just general information about about this sin, about this addiction and how people can find the help that they desperately need. Please uh, check out the link in the description. It's to our Facebook page right now. At the beginning of next month, either the first or second week, we haven't quite nailed down a date yet for when we're launching the actual website, but it's going to be in September. Please, please, please go like the page and tell people that you know about it. Ask them to like the page as well. Start spreading the word because we need your help if we're going to make this ministry uh, an actuality and start helping people the way that they need to be helped. So there you have it, the Friday Whip Round. Go check out these guys over here. And of course, please, please, please look at our, our new ministries that we have going out. We need your guys' help. Thanks for tuning in and as always, stay strong.